Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to the 2PM show. Uh, here where we uh, meet and talk with multiple people from regions and to see their potentially interesting lives when they're not a student. Uh, today's guest is a quite a special one, as one, he's not my brother, and two, he's uh, one of the original students uh, when regions was first made. And he's also, and from his name, you can feel like it's a few words away from being a fruit. So please welcome Sylvester Marlin, or as I, we, we like to call, Melon. Hello, hello. Hey, he, hey Melon, welcome to hello. the show. It's nice to be here. Yeah, it's a full-on setup, you know? Yeah, I didn't expect it to be this grandiose. This, yeah, <laughs> yeah we, so we, are, we already like perfectly prepared for uh, multiple scenarios in, uh, in the show. So, yeah. uh, why don't you introduce, introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Sylvester Marlon Gunawan. Uh, I was here since the beginning of Regents, uh, from Tumble Toss from kindergarten all the way until now. And uh, I don't know, I'm age 15. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Mm, yeah. So uh, let's just uh, jump into it. So uh, can you tell us about what you do when you're not in school? When I'm not in school, like my daily life, my daily routine. Yeah, your daily routine, your uh, stuff you do. My daily routine usually consists of me waking up, and if there's if it's a weekday, I usually go to school, right? I mm. go to school from eight p eight a.m. until twelve, or maybe until three, and then after that, I usually go play until around six and eat. Wait, just like so after you think you're done, you just. Uh, play uh, all the others are just used for to play. Uh, usually after school, I finish all the homework that I have to do and then play. And then yeah, there there's some um, uh, responsibility. <laughs> nice. All right, and that and that's about it. And you uh, don't, don't usually do that's else. I don't go out a lot. You don't go out a lot. Like uh, it, you don't do the every weekend once in a while. You just go out with your family. Uh, used to not anymore because of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Now my not only my mom goes. Hmm. Thankfully that uh, uh, despite the pandemic, all of us except uh, my little sister got already got second vaccine. So all of us are pretty. Uh, all my family is safe enough, so we can just like go out once in a while and in, yeah. in weekends. I'm kind of glad about that. Uh, you didn't get any second shot of vaccine. No, I already got my second shot. So has my sister. I think everyone in my family already has their second shot. But uh, they're just too lazy to go out now. Uh. I'm too lazy. Just you specifically. I'm too lazy, yeah. Uh, but I think if my mom wouldn't mind if I if I asked to join, so to go out. Wait, so wait, wait, wait. Your family goes, but you don't. Uh, no. Only my mom goes to buy groceries. You, you, we usually we used to go, but not anymore. Cause I'm too lazy. And oh, then my yeah, sister yeah. joined me. And also became lazy yeah. and beca and follows suit your dad as well. Yeah. So, uh, do you follow the IGCSE for it later on? Yeah, I'm joining four subjects for the IGCSE exam. Hmm. Math, business, economics, and English. Wait. Oh, so you're, you're the IGC that you chose, then English and math. Yes. Was it? Is it? Like, a lot, it's a lot of pressure as well, right? Yeah. Are you joining it or no? No, I don't join. Oh, my. You <laughs> lucky little... You can't just choose not to join, you know? I mean, I guess, yeah, but I think it would be better to join it, no? Yeah, it does give out a lot of advantages, but most of those advantages, like, uh, will disappear, kind of, when you, like, don't stay in that school for long. I guess, I guess that makes sense, yeah. Mm. You're going to Australia soon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, as a result, it just feels a bit useless as well. And besides, I don't really focus a lot on academics, so yeah. stuff like that. What do you What do you plan for your major, or in the in the future? I don't know. So I'm not so sure. I'll, that's probably the reason I'm going to Australia to figure out what my uh, major will be. <laughs> okay, that After makes. After all, once you move out away from your parents, uh, stuff gets uh, you get to think on your own. So, are you going to Australia on your own? Yeah. Most oh. Pro on my own, like full without anyone. Okay. Okay. Uh, balls and like okay maybe there is a slight chance that my grandparents will come here and then might uh, tag along when I go home, back there but that's a slight chance so with the um, 
with four majors, is it how hard? How hard is it actually to study each and every one of them? After all, like one major is already hard enough. What about four of our GCSEs? Uh, what I think, okay, my major, right, uh, what I'm planning is somewhere along business or maybe even economics. Mm -hmm. But main priority will probably be business. Uh, so I'm joining business economics. That makes sense, right? Why yeah, would you join business? Sense. Math EFL because... Isn't it mandatory? Yeah, almost, yeah. So you focus on specifically business and economics and then uh, math, and en math and English are like a secondary thing. Yes. Probably, mm. yeah. But like if you fail math, so that means your main, pri because of your main priority being business economics, uh, math and English, if you fail them, it doesn't really matter as long as you got the other two right. Uh, math and English, it's more like, if, if let's say I was, I, I was going, I was, uh, let's say to, to go to university internationally, like say I go UK or something, mm -hmm. or I go Australia, then I think my English and math has to be like a bit higher. Like, English has to be B at least, I think. Math has to be A at least, I think. Or B plus. Something like that. Hmm. So it matters, like, once... It matters once you, like, move out. And then yeah. those scores start to matter. Yeah. But, like... They, but there are some, like, some schools outside where they don't exactly look at that uh, scores. Yeah, so some, some schools don't... I don't... I think some schools don't look at it. But I don't, I don't know the specifics. I don't know. But it's just better safe than sorry. Yeah. Hmm. It's, all, it's way better to be to do the IGCSE, get high, high scores, then you know, who knows, you didn't do it and you might need it later on. Wait, I'm actually, just, I'm actually quite curious. What's the difference between economics and business? Because they kind of revolve on the same stuff. Economics is more macro, uh, like wide range, if that makes sense. It's including the, the country, thing. the government, stuff like that. Business is more specific in the... The, the actual business, the firms. Of making it. So yeah. econo economics, like the general direction, while the business, how you can change that in, in the tiny scale. Yeah, they're both very well related. Uh, mm -hmm. Economics, for example, right? Yeah. There's exchange rates, there's if you, and then there's government taxes, stuff like that. We learn that in economics. Yeah. Uh, in business, you focus mainly on how you would respond to the stuff that, ha that happens in economics. For example, if prices rise, then. What business, do do business will be how to handle it. Yeah, mm. how to handle it. How do you advertise stuff? Maybe it's something like that. So it kind of has to. Work, you have to study them in tandem, or else uh, if you just focus, if you like, for example, if I choose just business and I approach something else like design and technology, it'll kind of go out of a hand because they don't. Uh, you kind of need economics to understand business. You also don't the need it. You don't need it, but it's a lot. It's very helpful to very helpful. understand it. Yeah. So it's like uh, best to work. It, it works in packs, but even if you pick sing, uh, like sing, uh, just one of them, uh, it's just less uh, easier, right? Yeah, it's a it's a lot easier if you understand economics and then business. And then you can business. tie to it. Mm. So right. yeah. So uh, lately, uh, every once in a while, I, when I browse YouTube, there's always like one of those Valorant ads. You know, yeah. the ones, <laughs> yeah. it's either, uh, either some content creator just like promoting it mm. or it's just like, uh, elect like some electro music, techno I music. Like, I, think, I, think, I think I've seen that, yeah. yeah Have you ever gotten those Hello for Mines Yes, yeah. that one, that one. And with that, it just came widespread. And it also made me notice that uh, the majority of our uh, friends also play Valorant as well. Yeah. You play Valorant, Mike plays Valorant, and Stephen plays Valorant? Stephen plays Valorant. Mm, right. And then... There's a lot of other people I know that play yeah. Val. I, but sadly, I don't play Valorant. You so. could probably play Val, right? Is it fr it's free? It's free, it's free. It's free, wow, really? Yeah, it's free. And does it, like, it takes a while to download, right? Right now? I don't know how many gigabytes is it. Maybe 30? Twenty? Mm. I don't know. You know. I might think of uh, downloading it, but I can I kind of need to know more. So, what's appealing about Valorant? Uh, well, right now Valorant is the biggest esport right now. Uh, yeah. So, like, yeah, that is, if, you take, appeal, take, if you want to take things seriously, yeah. you can just join up. Yeah, there's a lot of teams right now competing. Yeah, it's 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 very big right now. The esports with Valorant is huge. Yeah, I'm, after all, it is like created by Riot, and yeah. they're known for their esports stuff. Yeah, like League of Legends, TFT, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like it, but like it's kind of you can't like really 
I know for a fact that Valorant is essentially just CS:GO, but with with abilities. With abilities. Yeah. But so, what makes it and CS:GO by itself is also big. So, yeah. what makes it like people prefer Valorant more than CS:GO? Uh, I wouldn't really say prefer. It's more like it's a chain. For example, like CS:GO, it's been a while. It's been there for a while, like ten years plus, maybe. Yeah. Uh, in Valorant, you have abilities now. It's something new. It's still an FPS game. So CSGO players might switch to Valorant. So may, they might see it as more fun because they have more abilities, may, mm. more stuff to make content from, right? Yeah. So like, yeah. It's so CSGO is more like a traditional sense while yeah. uh, Valorant just gives out a twist to that traditional tradition. Yeah. Mm. And like, does it ever get like super sweaty? Like, of course it gets sweaty. Actually. Yeah, every, every once in a while. Not every once in a while, actually. It happens it's quite very often. common. <laughs> it happens quite often, yeah. <laughs> It happens quite often. Uh, me and my friends would play, right? Yeah. We would, we would. By the end of the day, either I would be, I would be, I would be sweating, or one of your friends will be sweating. Yeah, we would because one of my friends would either be lagging, be molding. They 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 get unbelievably mad because they're lagging and stuff like that, or they're yeah. not hitting their shots. And just I would be mad as well if I were to like uh, lag out. Well, it's I still do. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, you're still called Melon, right, in school? Yes, yes. I'm actually quite curious. When did they... S- I know why you're called Melon. It's already obvious from yes. how you, you look like. But when did they start calling you that? Uh, <clears throat> from, I think the origin of my nickname, Melon, it was around grade 5, grade 6, primary. Mm-hmm. I think we were making, making some kind of joke or challenge or whatever it was. Yeah. We would call everyone by different names. Uh, I, think I, I think I called... Nathan, Nate. The, there was yeah, a, there was I a remember Nathan, Nathan. Nathan. I think I used to call. I don't. I don't. I don't remember what I called him. Uh, we called him something. Yeah, something. And then my name, Melon. It stuck somehow. Yeah, because like it's way too similar to your name, Marlon. So yeah. it fits as well. <laughs> it somehow stuck. Mm. And then uh, after the game, everyone else also kind of decidedly called you Melon as well. Mm, slow, slowly, my friends first, and then overall, and then yeah. And then everyone. Even else. even the teachers start calling me. <laughs> uh, you know, Miss Marites. Yeah. She starts calling yeah. me Melon. I mean, it doesn't. I don't blame them because it, again, it's it really fits like a glove. It re- it really fits you. Mm. And then you also kind of made that like your internet thing, right? You you like made the. Oh, like my username. No, no, not your username. Your profile picture, right? Oh, yeah, yeah your yeah, face yeah. with that, but it's like tinted my, with melon. Yeah, Jason. Jason edited my my photo, an old photo of me, and mm-hmm. then edited it to combine it with a melon. With yeah, yeah, and just like low opacity and stuff like yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as a result, creates your and he, then he sent it to you. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's good. I'll, I'll use this profile. I'll use it as a profile picture. And then, he, but then after that, like. Well, you you're in your WhatsApp that stayed, but in your Discord it changed. You changed to like some. You know, my mom sent me that. My mom. Oh, sent that, me that was that your picture. mom. Your mom sent you that. Yeah, it was a. It's a melon. It's a watermelon. Yeah, it has one. a knife out and then a slice of watermelon. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And then uh, she she sent you because of your nickname and said, "Oh, this this might be nice instead of your." It's like no. It's like this looks cute. Like I'll send it. Oh, so I it's think, just I think that's because what it was. It was, it was cute. And yeah. does he does she know that you're you're called Melon? Yeah, she knows. Yes. Yeah. So it became widespread, and then the golden she, melon. <laughs> oh yeah, and then you change that because you've kind of ascended. You've already yeah. like in tenth grade, so you ascended to golden form. The golden melon. Uh, but do you actually like melons? Like actually like eating watermelons? Watermelons, yes. Melons, not as much. Melons are also called cantaloupes, right? Yes, melons are called cantaloupes. Golden... They're kind of hard. The reason why I chose the golden melon, surprisingly, was because I don't know why. I don't know what I was doing. I was searching up different types of melons, and I found the gold. And I found golden melons. Like, ah, oh, I can use that. The Wait, like the melon. actual, the actual product. There's golden a melon, melon. There's a melon that's called golden melon. It's called something else, obviously. Like how melon can be called cantaloupe. Yeah. The golden melon probably called something else. Oh, so or just a yellow melon. I have no clue. So it was just like a regular yellow watermelon, and you just called it golden melon. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. And you said, mm, "That's a good upgrade. I'm gonna use it now." Yeah, the golden melon. Just change the to da. All G-A. right, that, that that one also kind of makes sense, you know, to abbreviate. Yeah. Uh, 
you uh, obviously use Discord as well, right? Like, yes, I use Discord a lot. Yeah, and you use it to chat with your friends. What's the main server? Valorant Tavern, right? Main server? No, not no. Actually, no. Uh, Valorant Tavern is filled with a lot of great servers, great eight. I don't usually. I play with them every once in a while, oh, but not like but often. Mm. Uh, there's there's a group of. Friends, me, like st me, Steven, yeah, and Kenrick. Already like in, a, in a group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we usually, I usually play with them. If yeah. we're playing Valorant or if we're playing League or something else. Oh, you play League as well? Yeah, I play League. Up. I, I just started, I think, about two weeks ago. Oh, and was so, it fun? Yes, I like it. It's mm -hmm. very fun. That, okay, that, that now, now I'm actually quite curious on why you actually like League. Uh, League? I don't know why. It's like... It's a lot more cooperative, right? Well, because it's all about the working together. Yeah, the team, the teamwork. I, I like that. I don't know. It's just so that it means quite you, fun. If you played, uh, if you played alone, you're definitely screwed. That means uh, if I, I play support, so obviously if I play alone, I'm screwed. Yeah, but like, uh, but still, like, uh, I, th I think with that, I think I already know the reason why people don't kind of don't like League because you know League has already got a bad reputation. Yeah, once in a while. League is very toxic. Yeah, because it's very cooperative. So once that breaks, it's once one if one person doesn't do well, the entire team falls. Yeah, so it's very it's very delicate, you would say. Yeah. So once one thing like fails out, like slightly, everything else just falls like down. Like for example, in Valorant, one person can pop off, while other others could be not doing as good. Uh, while and that would still be fine. That would still be kind of fun. Yeah, it was. So, wait, how is it so fun? Uh, fine. Uh, fun is also, I guess. <laughs> fun, not fun, not for no, the people no, that are doing badly. Fun, obviously, yeah. fine. It will be fine because obviously it's you can still what's it, you can still kill all the enemies. It's fine if you're popping off, you're doing well. Yeah, you can still kill, kill all of them. But in league, right? It's you can't really one v one v three. That you can't do that. Yeah, you can't. Do in Valorant, it is a lot easier to one v three than in league because it's more on skill. But in v League of Legends, it's more like teamwork. Yeah. Hmm. In, and in Val League can uh, in no Val skill can carry you unbelievably high. You and wait, you already got League and you got uh, Valorant. That means Riot games. yeah, that means you got it from the their their website, right? From their what's it yes. called? Uh, their Riot. launcher. So like something like St Steam for Riot, right? Uh, you got it from that? No, for Valorant, there's a no Valorant. I just downloaded it. Oh, so it just downloads and it immediately can already ready up to play. Yeah, but for League, it's quite annoying. You have to download Garena and then you have to download League from Garena. Oh, that kind of really reminds me of uh, doing T Launcher. T Launcher, yeah. Yeah, so it, it's like it's like the exact same thing. You need to get Java and then you can start the T Launcher. <laughs> and that actually reminds me, you don't play Minecraft anymore, don't you? Uh, not a lot. I used to play quite a bit, not anymore. I played like for one week and then I just dropped off. I play every once in a while uh, with my friends, like Jason. Yeah. Uh, what is it? I play Minecraft Manhunt. Oh, Manhunt, yeah. Yeah, you know Dream, yeah, you watched Yeah, yeah, yeah Man Minecraft of course. Manhunt. That, it's already well known. We use the mods, the like compass. Oh, you use mods as well? Yeah, we use the compass and I think that's really it. And then, mm. if obviously the hunter dies, the game was over. But. I don't think we uh, you do SMPs anymore, don't you? No, SM, no. Yeah, SMPs like a bit too inconsistent. I would in say. In my opinion, the first ever SMP. I don't know if you were in it. Yeah, it was Seacraft. C yeah, yeah, Seacraft. Seacraft. I remember, well, no, I I was there when it was uh, really popular when you guys were uh, playing it. But and that but that inspired me to get up T, uh, T launcher as well. Uh -huh. I filled up a bit. But by then, it's already dead. <laughs> okay, like Seacraft, right? The first time I was ever made Grade 7, I think it was, Grade 7. Yeah. Uh, Seacraft was... Th that was the first ever SMP in our entire... Mm. Not grade, but in our group, essentially. And then we, we got like, I think, eight-ish eight, eight -ish people. We, those are the first people that wanted to play. Yeah. And then after that, we, we started to invite more and more. And then I think almost all... A lot of the boys in... It totaled up to how many? Total up? How many people that has ever played or were active? Uh, I'm guessing active? Hold on. If, if active, I would say about 10-ish, 12. But if... The one that played? Total that has ever, ever played, probably around 15, 16. Wow, that's quite a lot. 
But then it died off after like a year. That means because it died off, I think. Because the, as soon as I got uh, I got up, which is like at the end of grade eight or the, and the beginning of grade nine, it already died off. I don't remember. I think it was six ish months. I don't remember. It was quite long. It was surprisingly long. Yeah, surprisingly long for an SMP because like the general lifespan is one and a half or even one or five months. Yeah, like. After that, we tried making other SMPs. Uh, I think it was Damien made one. Uh, well, yeah, I remember the first SMP. It was like Damien's uh, SMP. I don't remember what it was called, but yeah, it. I had fun, but only like a few days. After that, it died off. <laughs> After three days, it's like there's always, always there's always like only one or one to three people that keep that keep playing the server because they really like it. And then yeah. Others like they join in every once in a while. Once in a while, yeah. yeah. So like. So uh, the reason that your Seacrest MP managed to stay that long is because of there was still an interest in people. Yeah, there was still system. interest in Minecraft because everyone was like, because not a lot of people had Minecraft then, right? We yeah. just found out about T-Launcher. Like, oh, let's all play Minecraft, sure. Yeah, and as a result, uh, all of you like jump on and it was like big now. Yeah. Uh, but what killed it, that means? Because it was like going consistently, but then it dropped down. What, what happened? Because everyone eventually got Good enough gear. They already got diamond stuff. They enchanted all of that. Oh, they reached end game. We killed the Ender Dragon. We went to the end city. After that, there was not much else to do. So you've already reached the end game. There's not much, and restarting would be really bad. Really uh, hurt a lot, right? Yeah, it's like. So you just decided to just drop it down altogether. Yeah, I think the only people left that the last people that you played there were me, Defa, and someone else. I think. I'm guessing Jian. No, I don't think it was Jen, no. Uh, and as soon as that, I definitely remember ninth grade. I'm definitely the very, very hazy. And then gra as soon as we get to grade 10, it's... Grade uh, 9 felt like nothing. I only remember the exams from that and it was hell. And that that was it. That was the only thing I remember. Yeah. Yeah, like, that, that's uh, that's common sense because like... Uh, what's it called? Yeah, it's like when the first year where it's online all year. And yeah, as a result, it's, like, it's yeah. really hazy. After and it's also like at halfway. Was it halfway where they use uh, the the meeting specifically in Schoology? Or well, that was that was the start. And yeah, that was the start. Eventually, it's oh, like the end term, right? And then yeah. after that, they switch to Zoom. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, that was Do you general. Know the, the rule that they said you have to use school clothes whenever you're in Zoom. Do you ever use your school clothes? I don't. I don't. Uh, ever in use ninth it. grade, yes, but in tenth grade, I just drop off. I just use all the t-shirts. I've never, I've never used it, not once. But like, yeah, but that's never an issue, right? Because you just turn off the camera. No, if, even if I do turn on my cam, I, I don't. Nobody see my cared head. enough. They only see my head. No, they don't see my shirt. No, they don't. Mm. That kind of also brings me to a really big. Uh, what's it called? Uh, pet peeve of mine every time I go online. As much of a flaws, it was generally okay because at least you learned something. And uh, there are some things that are specifically online there that offline done. But my main pet peeve is that every time it's in almost everyone's uh, camera when they turn it on, it's only the forehead. And I mean only the forehead, yeah. not not yeah. Uh, not the face, anything, just forehead. Like okay, I show my face, right? Yeah, I, I know you show yours. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for today. So thanks for being on the show. You want to say one final thing to the audience? Uh, keep the pants on. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that's your final one. I see. And... would say keep the pants on. <laughs> and, all right. So yeah, thanks for being on the show, yeah, and hopefully we we might uh, you might come on the show again. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I might call you again. So yeah. Oh, well, surprisingly fun. Thanks mm -hmm. for having me. Yeah, and you just come here. Goodbye, I guess. Bye. See you, <laughs> see you like uh, tune in until next week. I guess. How do we end this? How do we end this? All right, Sylvester Marlin, everyone. Woohoo!